In transfer news, Chelsea confirmed the signing of French forward Christopher Nkunku from RB Leipzig to a six-year contract. The 25-year-old joins the Blues for a fee close to 52 million pounds. Nkunku finished the past Bundesliga season, scoring 16 goals, joint most in the league, and helped RB Leipzig secure back-to-back -back DFB Pokals. This is the latest signing for a rebuilding Chelsea club, one we've known about for a few months now. Now three managers later, Guys, Aaron, I know you have some thoughts about Chelsea in general, so this one's going to you. How do you see him fitting into this club? Um, they have a new manager, Mauricio Pochettino, so they have a little bit more stability now, but they have 50 players on their first team books, so how do we know who's going to be in their first 11? I have no idea. Christopher Nkunku, on the other hand, I know a lot about. I'm a mm. big fan of this player. I was very disappointed to see him sign for Chelsea because he is so quality. I've seen him a lot for Ebi Leipzig. Playing as a second striker, he can play as an attacking midfielder. He can play on the wings. Very, very versatile. Technically brilliant. Scores goals. A very, very good passer. Reads the game very, very well. His movement is really, really good. So this is a guy that I think will do well in the Premier League, but how can you guess how he's going to do at Chelsea? How, is, how can we guess how anyone is going to do at this club when there's so much instability? I think Pochettino is probably a pretty good hire for them. I think they'll probably have a lot more stability in this next season. But, and I think, I think he will have a good season. I'm glad Chelsea. you mentioned the number nine because he's not number nine. Right. He's always played behind the striker. Even his days at PSG, mm -hmm. he was an attacking midfielder. He likes to kind of float around Floater, that central yes. guy. Who's that going to be? Because you can spend all the money. <laughs> you spend, how much was it, half a billion to bring in 70 wingers yeah. and attacking midfielders. And then you have a retired uh, Obama Young, Lukaku. Who knows what's going to happen say, there? isn't Romelu Lukaku going back to Chelsea? Who knows? Is I think he, he wants Inter to stay kind of, yeah. kind of want him back, <laughs> yeah. Bobby. So I guess it depends if they can agree if on a fee. get a nice little uh, thing, lot of money at Chelsea. The thing, like, we talk about fair play and we talk about Chelsea spending all this money, but 52, did you say 52 guys in the roster? I mean, there's so many. I just made up a number. It's, it's just yeah, a, but lot, it, a lot. It's a lot of long contracts <laughs> That's what kills the well. game, though, because you can buy a contract. Yeah. You can buy a player, right, and and for like five million, right? Because it happened to, to me in, in the in the Red Bull locker room. They bought Matt Miazga, who was like my locker room buddy. Chelsea buys him for like I think it was like four or five million. Loan him out to the top clubs in in, in Belgium or Germany or wherever wherever he ended up they going. They just stock him at Vitesse. <laughs> and, if he, and if he plays a full season and does okay, now all of a sudden he's worth 15, 20 million, and they have him on the roster for that. So it's a I don't want to say unfair, but it's it's an unbelievable tool to be able to have like 50, 60. I mean, where's the number that it, that it ends at? But Why not just have 300 guys in the roster? Perhaps with PSG, similar with Chelsea, that money it doesn't always equal no, success it's, on it's the money pitch and far plan. from it. So, <laughs> but that, yeah, are you surprised to see Nkunku on a six-year contract here? Or is this different no, because no, he's, I, a, he's a young and rising player? I'm not surprised at all. The pitch, Man City exactly. just won the, the, the Champions League. Poppy, the, the they didn't, they Money plus the a plan. Had, you got to have both were of the, them. Were they the biggest spenders over Chelsea? I think Chelsea I mean, in the last them in the, whatever amount of years, they spent a billion dollars. It's been, yeah. United have been, I think, the, the biggest spenders, especially they are like the, the paragon of yeah. spending irresponsibly, like spending <laughs> without a plan, just kind of yeah, throwing money at the PSG thing was different because they had three alpha dogs all used to being the guy, and suddenly they had to mesh that ego. At Chelsea, it's different because they have all these young players who all need to play, mm -hmm. all need time to get better, yeah. and there's just not enough spaces in the lineup unless you can play with 22 on the field and mm -hmm. you still wouldn't have half the team covered. So either you send them on loan, but you got to do something because they're all in like seven, eight-year contracts. Don't yeah. you think the biggest thing for Chelsea is that they have to give Pochettino time because that's something that they haven't that's given their managers in the last few years, <laughs> That right? concept does so. not exist at Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs>